Today we're going to take a bunch of data in a spreadsheet and we're going to make it into a map in seconds. So right now on the Wikipedia page, there's a list of all the presidential libraries in existence. You can see the president's name, it's got the library location. I'm going to copy this entire set of data. So I'm just highlighting it now so I can copy it. And what I want to do is I want to move this data into a Google spreadsheet. So I'm going to select it. I am going to copy it. And once I have it copied, I'm going to open up a Google spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and title the Google spreadsheet. So because this is all the presidential libraries, I'm going to name it presidential libraries. Click OK. And since I've copied all that data, I'm going to now paste it. And it is going to import all of that data. So I got the name of the president, the number of the president, the library name, the location. Um, who's it operated by, image and logo. Now notice it did not bring in the image and logo. If I want to, I could just go ahead and eliminate those two columns, but I'll just keep them for now. And I'm going to download this as a different format. I'm going to put it as a tab separated values, which means that all the different spreadsheet uh, data is separated by tabs or columns. Um, you could also just save it as a Google spreadsheet if you want to but I'm going to go ahead and change the name so that when I look for it later, I can find it. And I'm just going to put presidential libraries for map, save it. All right, so now I have that saved. I'm going to go into my Google Maps. I'm going to go to create map, and it's going to say, hey, you want to create a map? And one of the options here is to import data from a, a spreadsheet. And so I'm going to go to import and it's going to ask me, okay, what type of file or where is the file that you want to import? I'm going to search for it on my computer. Remember, I called it Presidential Libraries for Map. So I'm going to scroll down to the P's for Presidential Library. I'm going to find my file right there. Click on it. Go to Open. And it is going to import this and magically, in a matter of seconds, create a map with all of those locations. Abracadabra. It's going to ask me what columns I want to use to determine the position of the place marks. And I want to use the location one because that has the name of the city and state. So I'm going to continue. And then it's going to say when you click on it and you have a push pin, what information do you want to show up first? And I would like the name of the president to show up when I hover over the push pin. So I'm going to go to president and finish. And now do the magic and wait for it. Bam! You've got a map created in seconds with all of the data from that uh, Wikipedia page on the spreadsheet. Um, I could go ahead if I wanted to, I could change the icon, I could make them all stars, I could make them all blue if I want to, um, I can change the, the different appearance of it, but I've created a map in seconds. If I wanted to, I could have gone into each of those individual cities, placed a map there, placed a push pin there, but instead it now has all the data. Notice it does not have the image or logo. So again, if I wanted to eliminate that from the column, I could, but that is not imported along with the uh, information from the spreadsheet. So pretty cool way to instantly create a map using data.